everyone, this is Randall Levels once again with the five ways to attract people to you. Now some people, they go out of their way to do all these crazy and zany things to get attention. Uh, even as far as just, to, you know, getting out of their own comfort zone. Um, that's okay for some people, but for the most, it's being genuine. And one of the greatest characteristics that I think uh, is is a being genuine from the people that I've been able to work with um, in my uh, in my career in construction uh, and now in my career in in networking. But in my career in construction, I noticed that the ones that were genuine, they had nothing to lose. They know that I'm not their competition and. I know one thing when I walked into a store uh, and when I went to um, ask some questions of uh, the store owner, I could ask him about anything and they were willing to tell me what it is I needed to know. Not because they wanted my money, but because they had something inside of them that said, I'm willing to share with you and that's our third way is to be there in sharing see sharing comes from a, a place where you're not afraid of somebody else that you know that they're not in competition with them and you know they know that you that you're not out to get them and they're willing to share with you their deepest darkest traits and tactics to to help you get along they see that you're not where you want to be and they're gracious enough to help you get there. And uh, I've always had that in the construction industry. I can't under, for sometimes I just couldn't understand how they were, people were so willing to help. Even now you go ask somebody for directions. They're so, just, even though men don't like to ask for directions and you know the wife always says stop for directions and he's like, no I'm not going to stop. I know what I'm doing they will always give you directions to the place and they won't lie to you well maybe we ought to get off of that I know what I'm doing and ask somebody for some help and uh, when you ask people for help they generally feel they feel empowered they feel they feel good that they're gonna be able to to, to show you something and help you with the situation and maybe give you an, a, a view of something that you never had before well, it's not a know-it-all. It doesn't come from a know-it-all place, but it comes from a sharing place. That I, I just wanted to share it with you because I think you're cool. I think uh, you know. I think you deserve this. I think you, you, you're out here trying and you're out here doing the best that you can. And I see an area where where you may need some help, and you're asking for help. So I'm going to give it to you, free of charge. I'm not going to charge you. You know they don't say that, but you know, they're so willing to help and you don't find that too much all the time. You don't, you know, in, in your job, not many people are going to help help you uh, get, get ahead because they don't want you to get ahead of them. Well, in this industry, I have found that, um, and I've been in and out of the network marketing industry for uh, about 20 years. In and out, in and out, in and out. But there was one thing I always found when I was in is that people in the industry are willing to share with you. They share their experiences. They share their growth. They share their uh, their their successes and they share their failures. They share their knowledge. They share their programs. Uh, you know. And right now we're getting into uh, a, a time in the network industry market where we're becoming stronger and stronger and we're starting to share our, our ideas and, and network together. D truly networking. Actually, uh, I was just uh, in a webinar, or not in the webinar, I watched, I viewed a webinar of uh, uh, a new product coming out and the product was or the webinar was hosted by all of the people involved and then some that weren't involved but they all got together they all formed a team 
uh, it's called, well, they're, we're calling it tribe building. Called, they formed a tribe where everyone had their own specific areas where they excelled in, and they were going to bring all this knowledge together, like creating their own little, I mean, a, a planet, a massive continent with, with massive resources on each continent. One had oil, one had gold, one had silver, one had diamonds. And they were bringing them all together to be able to create this, this type of utopia to be able to share with us, uh, us marketers. Now I think that that is the end all, the beat all, the coup de grace, uh, the yippee ki uh, it is that, I mean, that is, that's just amazing. That is the best thing I've ever heard of. So, I just wanted to say that, you know, looking forward, uh, when, uh, when I find that there's something that I need to share, I'm going to be more willing and, and to be in a sharing mode, meaning that I go back to the caring uh, from the previous video. You actually have to care. You have to care about people and you have to care about your business in order to share. So, I know the, we've got one or two more. We've got the next one in our next video we'll be talking about being there. And in order to share and care and in presence, you got to be there as a role model. A role model is somebody that uh, you see doing it all the time. And when you look up, you're seeing them doing it. When it's dark, you're seeing them doing it. When, when you're asleep, they're still doing it. A role model is somebody that you aspire to uh, be like that, that 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 you see excelling to a place where you want to be. So we're going to talk about that in our next video. So uh, we'll see you there. Thanks.